Hello, my fellow beaters. This is what we are going to make today. I have this gigantic pendant. Uh, look, it's uh, bigger than my three fingers. Let's see. I don't know why my camera won't zoom. Uh, so we are going to make this one today. Uh, I have named it uh, Queen because of its size it's a really really a big one it's a definitely a state statement pendant um, so uh, this project uh, is uh, I don't know it's not so hard to make but uh, you will need a lot of thread <laughs> because it's uh, it's this big it's an i took uh, almost two meters of the thread to make this one uh, okay so let me introduce you with the materials okay so uh, here is the material we are going to use you're gonna need one Rivoli rhinestone of uh, 20 millimeters crystal. This is a, a retrail medium, it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna need four millimeter bicones, uh, 20 pieces. Then eight millimeter rondelles 10 pieces then super duo beads or twin beads i'm using twin beads 20 pieces in one color and 20 pieces in another color uh, you can use uh, uh, any color you want because uh, as you can see uh, these are the green ones they are very visible but the other ones are here on the back side so uh, these won't be so visible so you can choose whatever color you want okay uh, after that uh, we will be using these are all 12 o seed beads in three different colors green uh, pastel green then we have pastel violet and purple and this uh, champagne color and these are 11 o's and i will be using them for my bezel i'm gonna make a bezel for this uh, rhinestone uh, i will be using uh, raw stitch for it for 20 millimeter rhinestone you have to make 20 crosses um, i was making a tutorial about it uh, but i was uh, bezeling a triangle rhinestone uh, it's the same technique the the only difference is that we were uh, leaving gaps uh, when we were closing the bezel in the uh, lower and uh, upper part and you don't have to do this with a rind, uh, round rhinestone because uh, as you can see <laughs> it's a round shape it doesn't have a corner so uh, I will show you and explain to you when I do this bezel I will do it off camera and we'll put down the li uh, link down below so you will see how to make a bezel we'll tell you about it in a second all right, so I have made my bezel, and uh, this is what I, what I have done. I have made 20 crosses. This is a 20 uh, millimeter rhinestone. Uh, just a note, uh, if you are going to use uh, this uh, technique to bezel your rhinestone, uh, Rivoli rhinestone, uh, the size of the rhinestone should uh, be the same 
uh, as the count of these crosses. If so, I was using 20 millimeters and I've made 20 crosses. If you are using 16, you will make 16 crosses. If you are using 14, you will make 14 crosses. Then, after I have finished this row, I climbed up and made a second row. You will see all that in the tutorial. Uh, just uh, ignore <laughs> that the uh, tutorial is about how to bezel triangle. It's the same system. After you are done with these two rows, you would just climb up and as you can see, add your 15 O's uh, all the way around or 12 O's. These are 12 O's. Then you should go down and add your 15 O's or 12 O's in this lower part. Uh, of course, uh, no skipping. You, you can see A, B, A, B, A, B color all the way around. Uh, I was skipping some places in the tutorial uh, about how to bezel triangle because it has a corners. We don't have a corners here, so we'll just go all the way around. Okay, of course, you are uh, first uh, you will close the lower part and then you will uh, circle it two times, then climb up, uh, put your beads up here, uh, you will not push it too hard, and then you will add your rhinestone and start pulling your thread and circle this two more times. Okay. Uh, as I said, I will leave a tutorial down below. So, uh, when I was uh, done with my uh, bezel, so I just went down from here and went through this bead and I have exited right here. Right now, I'm at the center of my bezel. You can see. This type of the bezel is uh, behaving similar like the uh, peyote ones, but I don't like peyote and uh, I uh, like to use this one. Okay. Now we will proceed with our tutorial. So. From this place, I will be working with my 11 O's, with my 11 O's, with my twin beads and my 12 O's. These are a little bit uh, more like lavender and this is something a little bit more darker color and we have this bright, bright green. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pick one 11 -0, one twin bead and three purples like this. I'm going to pull this down. My thread is so long, so I have pulled this down, then I will go through this hole like this and we'll pick one 11 0 and we'll go right here through my next bead. So this is what I have done. I'm gonna repeat this step once again with you and the rest will do off camera 
and you will have to proceed on your own all the way around. Of course, and I'm working in the dark. I can't wait days to get warmer. I'm currently wearing my mom's coat while doing this. It's so freezing up here. But if I want some privacy, I have to go here. And we'll pick one bead again. And we'll go through this next bead. Don't worry, I'll push all this down right away. Just me and my long threads. Wait. <laughs> okay, I have fixed it. As you can see, this is what we are going to get. All the way around, our uh, beads will set a little bit diagonally, but that's exactly what I want. Okay, just repeat this step all the way around until you get here. Okay, so this is how it should look now. I have added my last piece right here. And then I went down through this bead. Now I have to climb up and exit here to the top. So uh, it may happen that some beads are not rotated in the right way, but we will fix that with our next step. Okay. So uh, from this lower bead, I will have to go through this purple one right here through the let's see uh, super duo or twin duo we'll have to go through all this to exit there at the top Okay, like this, and then here. Now, this next step is really easy and fast to make. Yeah. Is there anything here that I still haven't caught? Please let me know. So that I can do that. Okay. And now we are going to work with our bicones only. And I will place them right here between these little arches. Now it's time to adjust our beads in this way. Okay. Just pull your bicones in the way that these super dual beads turn on the right side. Okay. Just like this. Ay, ay. <laughs> there. I cannot promise you that this won't happen again. So, just picking the bicones and putting them like this okay you see how these beads are in this way but when you put them like this this will turn okay just adjust these beads in the right way okay 
I have added my bicons all the way around and I have turned all these twin beads in the same directions. Twin beads. Uh, this is where I have exited and now I will go through the, this bicon. The first bicon right here. And we will proceed with our next step. Okay, now I'm gonna pick one green bead, one eleven o, one twin bead, one green bead, one. Twin bead. I always have to check the holes for these beads. Then I'm going back with the 11 0 and one green bead. So this is the sequence. One, 12 11 0, uh, dual bead. Uh, 12 o, dual bead 11 o, dual, uh, 12 o. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I will skip this bicone and we'll go right through the next one. I'm gonna do this same thing again, picking one twelve, eleven. Uh huh. This is what I was talking about. No holes. Duo. Twelve. Duo, eleven, and green, twelve. So I'm skipping this bead again and going right to the next one. Okay, now repeat this step all the way around. This is how our work looks now. Now we need to climb up and exit through the super duo bead. So I'm going to go through these first two beads come on and if you like to work this way then you will have to go through this center bead and exit here if you like to work this way then exit right here right here okay but I will go this way. I was going this way all the time, so I don't want to change my direction. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick, you see, we have... Uh, these large spaces here and we are going to put our our eight millimeter rondelles in between and here between super duo beads we are going to put seed beads so i'm going to take my rondelle 
I'm going to put it directly here in this big gap. Just going to put it here like this. Now, between these super dark beads, I'm going to take my green, then my 11 0, then my green 12 0. I'm going to put it right here between these twin or super dual beads. These are not super dual, these are just twin jack beads. Oh, look, an art. Okay. Then I'm just picking Edo, putting it right here in this gap. And then adding my three seed beads again. Just like this. Okay, now you will have to do this all by yourself all the way around. Uh, this is how it looks right now. Now we have uh, two more steps. So I have exited here and from this place, so oops, from this place I need to go through this twin bead. Come on and exit through this first level. So here I'm gonna make a little peak by adding three green beads and I will just go through this first one. Like this. And I will pop this to make a little peak. So from this place I'm gonna pick one green bead and a three eleven o's and one green bead. So it's a count of five. So from this 12 green, I will go through this bicone directly below my rondel. You don't have to watch this. So from this green bicone. I'm gonna repeat the same sequence. One green bead, three purple and one green bead. And we'll go di directly through this first green bead right here. All right. And now I have to make this little peak here too. So I'm gonna pick three green beads and we'll go through this next one right here. This thread decided to torture me. Yeah gonna pinch it and now I will go this way all the way around okay so now I'm going down through the bicone with five beads and exiting with five beads up making a peak and going down until I 
get here. Okay. All right, so now we are at the very end of our work. And the first thing I'm going to do is to make a loop here for the clasp. I have exited right here to this green bead and we'll go up through this center one. like this and then I'm gonna pick my last color which I wasn't using at all until now my champagne and we'll go through this bead now I'm gonna circle this once more like this I fear that I will run out of my thread because I have cut it so many times because of trillions of knots that happened to me during this process so now I'm going down through this next green bead like this and I will exit through this purple, which is, you see, right below this beak. Just gonna go through it like this. Okay. And now we are going to add our last step. So let me adjust my needle. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna change my thread oh, at the very end. Okay, so from this purple bead right here, I'm gonna pick four these champagne beads. And now I'm gonna go through this bicone right below this in between these two beads uh, in our our previous row we were going through this bicone below the rondelle and now we are going through these bicones that we were skipping in our previous step okay oh come on look at this ah oh, it's not my day when will be my day then i'm picking four beads again and i'm going through this purple bead on we from where we started all this okay look at this this is Okay, so I have made my decoration right here. Now, I will have to go through all these beads. I have exited through this purple one. Oh, come on. And we'll go through these beads all the way through, through this first green one, through the dual bead, through the bicone, through the dual bead until I exit again through the purple one and I will have to do this step again okay this is going to be a little bit hard but and this will definitely make your uh, work stronger okay Like this so I need to go through this dual bead this is really really the hardest part to 
to make your way through all this here to this first green and through the purple one and through the purple Okay, so I'm here and I have to pick four beads who have to go down through the bicone why and then four beads again and through this purple bead and we'll have to make my path again through all these beads again okay you see all the way around all right guys so this is it it's finished even though it gave me so much trouble uh, and i had to add more thread just to put this last v right here yep it's finished so this is my purple green it's really colder version and this is my warm version well to each their own all right guys i hope you like this tutorial sorry for a bunch of night knots but yeah it happens so this is it and hope to see you next time ciao